Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes, we are back with Broken Age. Now, this video today might be a little bit smaller because, as you guys know, I've been on a train most of today as I told you yesterday, but the problem is, there was a load of cancelled trains today and I end up having to take a completely different route, a way that I've never been before, so that got me a bit lost. Then I end up having to take a bus, with a slow ass bus, to another town and then walking five miles home, so uh... I'm a lot, but I'm really behind schedule, so um, this video is probably going to be a bit shorter. Now, what happened last episode? I think last episode, we was looking for the ceremonial knife because she wants it to cut this cake. And I think this dude over here, Grandpa, made a sly comment that he knew where it was. <laughs> okay, we spoke to him, ain't we? And we spoke to the little girl. Actually, I don't know. I'll speak to him again anyway, just in case. You sure this Maiden's Feast is a good idea, Pops? I... It's what you want, right? I guess so. I mean, you hear about it all your life. I'm just starting to wonder. Don't worry, sweetheart. You'll do great. <laughs> I like how everybody's fine with sacrificing this poor girl to a bloody monster. You're a bunch of assholes, actually. You seem excited. I am! I think I'm gonna barf. That could be all the cupcakes you've been eating. I'm just sad I'm too young. I wish we didn't have to wait 14 years for another mog. I'll try to make you proud, Rocky. I'm already proud of you, stupid. <laughs> what a little punk. Well, you desperate to be eating or something, Rocky? Call Rocky Balboa over here is a bit of a moron, actually. All right, let's go speak to Mummy. See if she's found a knife yet, just in case. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> I was actually thinking that too. <laughs> Why don't I just beat the shit out of the monster? But we haven't actually seen the monster yet. It could end up being some like massive scary thing. So uh, let's talk to old grandma over here. Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already! Oh! <laughs> what a bitch, isn't she? You ain't no grandma, you're a bitch! Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? Nope, I was not. How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see, a new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. You don't have to tell me, love. You look about 80. Look at ya. Pfft. You ain't aged well, have ya? <laughs> what is Mog Chofra? What a flipping name, Mog Chofra. What is Mog Chofra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I've got, I've got a bit of a question for you, Grandma. Why the flipping hell have you got a bunch of baguettes or French uh, sticks of bread in your hair? On your hat? What is she doing? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, flipping hell. Where do creatures like Mog Chothra come from? Where do creatures like Mog Chothra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. I'm okay. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chothra's stomach. <laughs> these, these flipping guys are insane, aren't they? Bloody hell. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. <laughs> well, I suppose they don't have internet in this place, so they can't really watch porn, can they? Why was I chosen? Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, Beats me. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure this is your grandma and you haven't just brought an arsehole into the house with you? <laughs> Mog Chothra attacks other towns? Mog Chothra attacks other towns? Of course. Maryloft just had their maiden's feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. 
They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I wanted to ask. Why don't we just fight Mogchothra? So, why don't we just fight Mogchothra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mogchothra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. Should I tell you what this is sort of reminding me of? If any of you guys have seen King Kong, you know when they go on that, like, they're on that island and then they give, the Africans give, like, a woman to Godzilla, not Godzilla, to uh, King Kong so he doesn't come back and, like, kill everyone, don't they? Sort of like that, that's how it feels. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Yeah, he's a badass. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. <laughs> I don't want to be selected. God. Oh, this woman. This woman right here. Can't we sacrifice her? I mean, look at her. She's already ready to be eaten. She's covered in flipping bread. Okay, let's go talk to uh, old Grandpa over here. Grandpa seems to be the only one in ill of a brain. You right, Grandpa? Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Grandpa's Beastender. Do you know where Mum's knife is? Do you know where Mum's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. Good. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then... Fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brommel. <laughs> I love his grumble. Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why do we stop being warriors? I don't know, I reckon Grandpa over here looks like a bit of a warrior. Look at that, he's like got a sash of medals. <laughs> Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for a peace. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. <laughs> oh, so that's why she's got a hat of flipping uh, breadsticks. Okay, hey Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh. Okay. Hey Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Oh, oh, so you did hide it, Grandpa. <laughs> you know, right now, I don't even want to find a knife. I mean, I'm actually helping these guys murder this girl. But I guess we're going to have to do it. So he wants a cupcake. Let's give him a cupcake. Here you go, uh, Grandpa um, EastEnders. For me? For you, Grandpa. No, Mum says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. Split it with you. Ah, oh, hang on. If he wants to split this with me, he's gonna need a knife. <laughs> yeah, let's try that one. Split it with you? Deal. <laughs> Is that a knife? On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put oh. that thing? What thing? No, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. You're a greedy son of- you see that? A whole fucking cupcake in one bite! I mean, cupcakes ain't the biggest thing, but flipping hell! You can't do that, especially you probably got- you probably got flipping false teeth as well. It's not too easy to chew with them things. Oh, bloody hell, okay, we've got the knife. Now I take it we're gonna send, uh, Vela to her death. Here you go, uh, mummy. Take the knife. Alright, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here! <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. They're madmen, aren't they? They're fucking insane in this place. Oh. Majestic to behold. Awe oh, inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. 
All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chathra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. No, it's not right. Come on, I should be in the <laughs> center. I'm going to quickly say something. Um, over near my house, near the park, there's actually a fair over there. And they've got all, like, rides and just amusement park shit. And they are blaring music out so flipping loud. So if you can hear that, I do apologise. And also, I apologise for my throat. My voice seems to be really shitty lately. Okay, right, what we've got to do? Should we talk to these girls then? <laughs> Look at her soul. She's got a fucking cake on her head, that one. Hey, I've got a plan. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. What a bitch. <laughs> D does nobody understand they're going to be being eaten? Even even if you were taught from birth that being eaten was a good thing, I still think you wouldn't want to be eaten. <laughs> Look at that. Hot stuff. Drink me. I uh, don't know what that says. Oh, up for grabs. Fun size. Delish. <laughs> Oh dear, flipping hell. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Look at it, look at this flipping bird that keeps attacking this poor little midget over here. Hey, what do you <laughs> what do you say we break out of here? Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. <laughs> You're making me hungry. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. I've got, to, uh, I've got to be honest. I actually agree with this girl right now. I mean, I'm not a fan of fatness. I do prefer skinny, but if I was going to eat something, I'd prefer someone fat. So this girl understands. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Why do you want to have a... Why do you want to have a bite of the drumstick? We plan that, Vela. It's no time for a meal. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Uh, yeah, I've only got a towel, I think. Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. <laughs> Morning, you buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! Gosh, she sounds a bit like Spinelli as well. I'm pretty sure somebody in Grim Fandango was voiced by the person that did Spinelli's voice of recess. She sounds a bit like that too. Flipping hell. How about the satisfaction, <laughs> the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm, sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, well, um. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Okay, let's talk to the rose. <laughs> Fucking bird. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does but they're made out of chocolate regardless i accept my noble burden not with apprehension but with joy i give my life so that no harm comes to our village no i give my life no me sheesh <laughs> oh that's it we're fucked that's it we're dead it's game over wolf morphets that's it we lose Where'd you get the drink from? Where'd you get that damn drink from? Holy shit, look at that thing! Oh. <laughs> no, he's so majestic. You guys are psychopaths. Oh, look at it! Who wants to eat a flower? See? He's drawn to the flame. Like a giant moth. What? No way! He's coming my direction! Please, don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. 
Oh, yes, take your time, look over all your options, and then after some careful consideration. <gasps> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I thought this was a kid's game! Oh, that fucking bird! <laughs> Oh, I need to speak to someone. Um, I'll speak to her. Can I have a drink of that water? Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you with that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too thin. Okay. This horrible thing. You got a deal. Ooh, what a relief! I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry, but this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. But. Oh, that poor girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Bloody hell! <laughs> oh, I wanted that bottle of water. Actually, yeah. give me the water. Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. I don't need it where I'm going. <laughs> You're going to heaven. You're dead. <laughs> well, that thing's scary. I think something in World of Warcraft looks like that. I uh, want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick. Maybe we could trade the water to her because she might be thirsty after eating that all day. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. Or maybe the corset because she's a fae. We'll try. We'll try this. How about something bubbly to wash it down? Well, thanks. Don't mind if I. <laughs> What's the matter with that water? Oh, uh, yeah, we can give her a towel now. Eh? Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Uh, a towel? I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? I'm pretty sure I said about 10 minutes ago. Why do I want this drumstick so bad? Oh, oh fantastic. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? <laughs> Are you part vulture or something? It's a scary thing. You think about food at a time like this. Can I, uh. Gotcha. <laughs> I didn't know that would work. Oh, yeah, now we can use the knife. Hey, how about we split this cupcake? You can have the bottom half. Get back here, you crazy brat! Oh, piss off! Good. So her little tiny foot kicking him actually hurt him where he let go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> she must have some fantastically strong legs. So where the hell are we off to then? Yeah, a music. Oh shit, it's Big Bird from Sesame Street. Just it's green. <laughs> oh, Big Bird used to be a scary gear. He used to scare me. That was a weird bird. I hope you know where you're going. See ya. You want to hope that knife don't fall on your head. <laughs> Brack. He's shitting golden eggs. Oh, you cr flip it out. Calm down, bird. Calm down. Dad, look. Jesse 
brought back a girl with him. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> so your name is Jesse. Okay, let's see if we can go speak to this bird. Can I speak to this bird? Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. <laughs> He's furious. He doesn't care what you say anymore. Let's go talk to this one over here. What oh, there's another one. Lift? No? Oh, shit. Was I supposed to do that? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to have to end it here now, Wolf Morvets. I think I might have actually been able to have recorded for about 20 minutes, so that's good. Thanks for watching, Wolf and Morvets. Uh, tomorrow's video should be a lot better than this one. Like, share, enjoy the pack today. Woo!